The fight between Governor Ron DeSantis and Disney is heating up once again. He announced a new plan that would increase state oversight of rides at the theme park and said that he might allow construction on the property, adding that the possibilities are endless. But for now, he is focused on getting this legislation passed to increase the state oversight of Walt Disney World. And Ryan Elijah is joining us now live in studio with more on this, right? Yeah, a lot to get to here, Amy and Danielle. Yesterday, the governor doubling down on his push for more oversight over the company, saying the state will even be Again, safety inspections of Disney attractions. Many business questions to dig into here. And we're going to do just that with Dr. Mark Johnson. He is the professor of marketing and business at the Rollins College Crummer Graduate School. Dr. Johnson, great to see you this morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Well, let's talk about this. A simple resolution, it now looks very unlikely. The governor not only promising more control, but also getting more involved in ride inspections. So how much can the state do here? Well, the, the state can do quite a bit uh, through the legislature, and um, they, you know, they're they're looking at what Disney did, and of course, they, the state of Florida, gets to make the rules, and so Disney operates within the state and must uh, follow the laws of the state, and if the legislature chooses to pass uh, more aggressive laws in terms of enforcement or some of the things that Disney did, then that's. Um, that's the deal. And it seems like that's where they're headed. One would think Disney would not lose control of their rides and other decisions without a fight. So what can Disney do to fight back? Does it come down to a legal battle? And how soon might we see that response? Well, you know, Disney has taken, you know, in, in some respects, they've taken it very slow and not been um, a really forthcoming in a lot of their strategy. But, uh, you know, clearly, the lines have been drawn here and uh, Disney is going to want to maintain, as you mentioned, a control of their rides and how they develop the park and so forth. It's not clear that, that the governor or the state want to get into all of that. They've said that they don't. But, uh, you, you know, when you talk about the ability to uh, tax yourself, to uh, monitor yourself, to police yourself, all the things that Disney was able to do all these years, when you start to take some of that away, you know, Disney is going to push back, which is what they're doing. Yeah, let's be honest, both Disney and Florida need each other. I mean, Disney's got an empire here. Florida gets millions of visitors from Disney. They're a couple percent of our GDP. So there's risk if things escalate. Who might blink first here? And what are the risks for both sides? Well, there, you know, this is one of those it's exactly what you say like who's going to blink first and the 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 challenge is that you want cooler heads to prevail right you don't want this to become kind of an emotional back and forth you want this to be like let's work through to a solution and what you you hope is that both at the highest levels of the state government and then the, at the highest levels of disney people are able to say okay fine let's just sit down and come to some agreement that is reasonable for both sides. Uh, ride inspections has been something Disney's got a great safety record on. A lot of people feel comfortable trusting their inspections. Could that be something they use as leverage here that people want us to kind of control our park? You know, it, the the governor mentioned, uh, as you know, a number of things from, you know, more ride inspections to imposing certain taxes uh, to some of the issues around using the unused property, building things on that. So there's a number of tools that he has. Uh, you know, one of the things about the ride inspections is, you know, he has argued, the governor has argued that he wants to bring Disney in line with the other theme parks to make it fair for everybody. So for, for him to impose things on Disney that aren't necessarily imposed on the other parks, you know, that that is, you know, he's really crossing that line from trying to make it fair for everybody. We'll see where this goes. I mean, it's escalated quickly for sure. Really appreciate the insight. Dr. Mark Johnson, thanks for joining sure. us. Of course. Thank you.